Blessings, everyone. I pray you all are enjoying your day. You are having a blessed day filled with much peace and love in the name of Jesus. I want to read the scripture to you all and talk about it a little bit. God gave me this scripture yesterday. He also gave me a couple of scriptures that he wanted me to like talk to you all about. So this is in Joshua 1 verses 8. Break down eight, and then I'm going to go through nine, or I may do another video for nine. Scripture nine of fifteen. It says, "This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it." Okay, you all. First part of it. this book of the law shall not depart. From your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Meaning that we are never supposed to take our eyes off the Bible. Meaning that we are supposed to consistently keep ourselves in it, ourselves in it, reading scriptures and everything in the name of Jesus. I did a live on TikTok about this, something about this scripture like last week or something like that and what i told them also is that the ways that i keep the bible and keep reading scriptures is by doing the bible plans on there that is a good way for you to read your bible every day if you're not a person that read get your bible scripture and you get a bible plan those are scriptures in the plan so that is going to make you read every day so what I incorporated was that I started reading them also at night. So I would read me a plan during the day. And then I would make sure I read one at night. And it depends on whatever time you go to bed, before you go to bed or whatever. I would read it. So that is how I kept myself consistently in the word of God. Plus meditating on the scriptures in the name of Jesus. Meditating on um, the scriptures that... Uh, you may feel that you need to meditate on something that's going on in your life. You take that scripture, you put it on a sticky note or in the in the book, a journal or something. See, I have a journal. You anything, a notebook or whatever. You put it up in there and you meditate. You repeat the scripture and you just keep on to get down in your spirit till you then know it by heart in the name of Jesus. So that is what meditation is. I'm going to read you all the definition. It says, meditate, think deeply, or focus one's mind on a period of time. That is all we are doing. We are keeping our mind on it. If you have to put the sticky note up in your cars or whatever, whatever you have to do, your car, your refrigerator, your um bathroom window these are things i did your prayer closet these are things that i have done in the name of jesus so i'm telling you all it will work it does work in jesus name and it helps to build your relationship up with god in the name of jesus so this is how you can meditate on god's word and stay focused on god and keep god continuously in your life because remember we are supposed to seek god's face first Matthew 6, verse 33. Seek God and all his righteousness. In his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So when we seek God's face first, he is going to add everything else to us. It's, it's just us. Is we going to go along with God, what God is telling us to do or is we going to continue to do our own thing? Okay, you all. So I'm going to read the second part of the scripture which is in verse 9 it says well then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success have i no i'm yes have i not commanded you be strong i'm sorry this is part nine have i not commanded you be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go in the name of Jesus. So God is with us wherever we go, no matter what. When we feel fearful or whatever, God is telling us. And he got a question mark behind it. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. 
in the name of Jesus. God want us to be strong. He want us to be filled with courage. We are not supposed to be out here being in fear or none of that. We are supposed to stay in faith at all times, no matter how you may feel about it. Stay in faith because if we don't stay in faith, that means that God is not our first in our life. That means that we is lacking faith in God if we is not staying in faith in the name of Jesus. And we must remember that is the trick of the enemy to get us out of faith in Jesus' name. But we know that God is not a man that he shall lie. He's not going to lie to us. He cannot lie in the name of Jesus. So whatever God says is the truth. Whatever he says is going to happen in the name of Jesus. So I wanted you all to know that. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have the success. So if we continue to meditate on God's word day and night, we are making our way prosperous and we are going to have good success in the name of Jesus. There is no doubt about it in Jesus name. Yes, I get comments. Some people say, oh, they may look at a video of mine and they say, oh, it hasn't happened yet. I'm still waiting. But we have to understand that God is not working on our time. It's in his time when he feels that we are ready. Not when we think we are ready. It's when he knows we are ready. And we must remember that we are God's children. So God knows when his children are ready for whatever. He wants to give them. But the key way to start is by meditating on his word. Joshua 1 verses 8 says it. This is telling us, do not let it depart out our mouths. So we are not going to let God's word depart out of our mouths in the name of Jesus. So I pray that this word has blessed you all. In Jesus name, I pray that it has lifted your spirits up. I pray that you will take it. And find you some scriptures that you can meditate on. In Jesus' name, you meditate on scriptures that, you know, can help you through whatever you are dealing with in life. And post them. Post them and pin them up. In the name of Jesus, blessings to you all. And I will see you all in the next video. Love you all.